How to give your dog healthy attention reason now. Give your dog attention at appropriate times. There are times when dogs want or need alone time and shouldn't be disturbed. This includes when it is eating or aggressive. Giving your dog attention at the right times can ensure that it is not only healthy, but also strengthens the bond between you and your dog. Share love and attention when your dog is in a calm submissive state. Good times to do this are after your dog has eaten or exercised, changed an unwanted behavior, or responded to a rule or command. Use discretion in giving your dog attention if it is whining, begging, or barking. Investigate the cause of the behavior and proceed accordingly. For example, if your dog is barking because it saw a stranger in the yard, offer it some comfort by saying, It's okay, Todd. It was just a person dropping off a package. Avoid showing affection if your dog is fearful, anxious, dominant, possessive, aggressive, or breaking a rule. Establish yourself as pack leader. Dogs in the wild live in the social order of their pack. Your dog will look to you as the leader of its pack. Establishing your dominance can ensure your dog is loved, trained, and lively without being spoiled or uncontrollable. Failing to step into the alpha role may signal to your dog that it is the alpha. This can lead to uncontrollable behaviors such as eating off the table, jumping on others, or an inability to be alone. You can establish yourself as the alpha in your home by interacting with your dog as if you own it, not in a timid manner, offering praise quickly and warmly, reprimanding it fairly and quickly then move on, making your dog obey on the first command, giving and denying permission, stick to mostly dog food. Many human foods such as chips, raw meat, onions, and chocolate can be toxic for dogs. Beyond this, eating your dog table scraps can lead to undesirable behaviors such as begging or not wanting to eat dog food. Providing dog food and an occasional human treat can help you avoid unhealthy attention and further establish you as pack leader. Recognize that an occasional scrap of human food is fine. However, this should be only once in a great while and as praise for something, and shouldn't be giving from the table. Choose dog-friendly treats such as steamed or baked potatoes, plain rice, oatmeal, bits of cooked chicken or a turkey, or finely chopped or steamed unseasoned vegetables. Discourage jumping. Dogs greet each other with nose-to-nose -nose contact. When your dog sees you or guests, it likely wants to give a warm greeting in the same way. However, this can be a dangerous behavior that injures you or your guests, especially if they are children and or frail adults. Train your dog to do a preferred behavior, such as sitting, to greet and get attention from you and others. Give your dog the sit command anytime it stands up to greet others. Don't give the dog any attention until it stays seated. Ask your guests to help with the training. Tell them to turn and walk away if your dog isn't sitting when they arrive. Then repeat, sit to your dog and let your guests approach it again, prevent separation anxiety. Dogs are social animals that live in packs in the wild. As a result, leaving your dog alone can result in separation anxiety, which is common. But separation anxiety can lead to destructive behaviors such as chewing, whining, scratching, and defecation. Preventing separation anxiety is key to avoiding unhealthy attention and bad behavior in your dog. You can prevent separation anxiety by not making a fuss about leaving or returning. Leaving recently worn clothing that smells like you with your dog. Establishing a word with your dog that lets it know you'll be back. Confining the dog loosely in a room or crate that simulates a den. Providing busy toys for distraction.